Hi everyone, thanks for watching another InfoSec Hub video. This video is kind of a testing uh, video also for me to see if the audio and the video image is good coming off a computer that I use to interact with my servers. Uh, as you can see here, I'm interacting with a VM uh, host to a server basically and it's connected to a Windows 10 machine which I can show you later. This is a Ubuntu machine. Uh, you might know, you might, might not know that uh, within VMware you can uh, load up several various operating systems and the plan is actually to get Kali Linux which is an open source pen testing uh, tool. Uh, it has many many uh, tools in there and then actually install a virtual machine in here and then download a virtual machine uh, next to it that we actually going to attack and this is Voln Hub. Uh, you know the subscribers that been around me for many years they already know that this is a plan in the making for quite a while but I really want to do it this uh, this year uh, probably September October ish uh, you know when the summer is gone I want to take some time to uh, you know dive in here and as I learn I will make videos of it so when you look at uh, Kali Linux, we can do a search on Kali Linux uh, tool overview. And let's see, this is an overview of all the tools that are packed into Kali Linux. Uh, so Metasploit, it's also something uh, that is using exploits in frameworks of applications. Nmap has more to do with... Uh, uh, the network, uh, it has something to do with um, the discovering hosts on networks and doing all kinds of scans to it. But I will not go into too much depth because I simply don't know that yet. Uh, but I just want to take you on this journey. When I learn something, I'm going to make a video about it. What I do know is the VMware. So here, for instance, we are now running inside of Fedora. But we have a virtual machine of Windows, Windows 10. Let me see if I can show you this as well. Full screen, please. All right. This looks better. Let's see if we can log in. Uh, so this enables me to have the operating system uh, Fedora, which is open source Linux. And I'm still able to run a Windows 10 machine in here. Uh, Windows 10 you can download, Windows 11 you can download, and you can use it without any uh, serial keys nowadays. Let's see, we need to be able to log into this. Yes, show me something. So this is a virtual machine. Uh, so on the same physical hardware, the same machine, I can run multiple operating systems. And that's the beauty of VMware. Let me back out of here a little bit so it can do what it has to do. Um, and as you can see here, Windows 10 is now running. You can see the memory usage is here, the storage attached to it. We signed a CPU in here that is now running at uh, on one, almost 365 megahertz, which is not a lot. Um, but we can use this uh, inside this virtual machine. Going back here, Kali Linux, you saw the overview of the tools. The plan is to download a virtual machine and install it into this virtual, uh, you know, virtual box, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do that. We're going to show you how to do it. I'm first going to do it myself and then I want to be able to explain it to you. Uh, and then next to it, because you can add multiple VMs, we are going to pick one of those uh, virtual machines. So let's see uh, web machine so this is probably a web server let's see download mirror do we have an inscription okay this works better with virtualbox than vmware so we're gonna need to do some research before these videos which is all right uh, let's back out a bit okay difficulty medium difficulty easy and this is all about um, how difficult it is to break into the system. These systems are by design vulnerable 
and since you install it within a virtual machine it's not a production machine or anything you are allowed to you attack it with one of these tools and you can do some reconnaissance on it which we will start with because that's usually the first step within uh, you know um, attacking a target do some uh, reconnaissance what kind of system is running there what kind of ports are open uh, is there even uh, maybe a software package out there that has vulnerabilities and then you take it to the next step, ne ne next step to uh, exploit those vulnerabilities so that is actually the plan for later this year. I'm sure it's going to take me quite a while to set it up nicely, but it's uh, it, it's going to teach me a lot. I've already been using VMware for quite a while because I barely have any Windows machines anymore. So I all use them within a virtual machine and then let it run for a couple of hours and close it off again. I don't actually need a separate hardware uh, to run windows no more i can all do all do it for within the comfort of uh, vmware so quick video for me to check everything is everything uh, ready for work we're still going to do some infosec hub uh, infosec uh, concepts for you just uh, as general videos um, but this is actually what i want to go uh, to a couple of years ago we did uh, OpenSense and PSFence videos but the end goal was always to dive more into Kali Linux and to be able to tell you what's going on there. Uh, these videos are not easy to make, I'm not a network administrator, I'm not a system administrator but I know in general something about technique and I'm fascinated about information security. So I want to thank you all for watching this video and we hope you have a great day.